this video, I want to take a look at what kind of running performance gains we could get from using both the CPU and GPU on the M1 Pro. We'll be using a 16-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. The first thing we'll run performance tests against is ScanLens. To your top left, you'll see the CPU and GPU with tiling completely disabled. To the right of that, you'll see the CPU plus GPU render with a tile size of 512. Finally, at the bottom, you'll see the GPU only render without tiling enabled. We test tiling against no tiling as the CPUs generally benefit from smaller tile sizes while GPUs benefit from larger tile sizes. I'll speed up the benchmark such that it completes in the next five seconds and we'll take a look at the results afterwards. The numbers are pretty interesting here. No tiling versus GPU only is basically a tie where the GPU is about 1.2% slower. There's basically no gain whatsoever when rendering from both CPU and GPU with tiling disabled for this scene. Taking a look at the scene with tiling enabled, we take about an 18% hit to performance. This would suggest that even if we see gains on the CPU side from introducing smaller tiles, we lose the benefits on the GPU side. We'll now move on to our second scene called Whitelands. We'll let the benchmark play out again for about five seconds and take a look at the results afterwards. Here the numbers shift a little more in favor of the CPU plus GPU rendering. The GPU only render is about 5% slower than the CPU plus GPU rendering without tiling. Enabling tiling doesn't adversely affect the test as much as it did in the previous one. The CPU GPU combo with tiling enabled is about 5% slower than the GPU only. So it looks like the CPU plus GPU with no tiling will more or less always beat the GPU only. However, it doesn't beat it by much. You have to consider that the GPU and CPU rendering likely requires more energy as both will be engaged during the render. Furthermore, a 1-5% to gain will likely go unnoticed as nobody, I hope, just sits and watches their render for 5-10 to 10 minutes, waiting for the very second the render finishes. More likely, you kick off a render and go do something else. As far as the tile size benefits go, to me, seem to be device and scene dependent. On my Windows machine with the Ryzen 5900X and an RTX 3070 Ti, I can sometimes see the benefits from lowering the tile size when using CPU plus GPU rendering. Here, however, it looks to just always make things worse. If you're using an M1 for rendering, I just stick with the GPU only rendering. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I hope it was somewhat educational for you. Thanks for watching.